It's a big learning curve for you, Corthy, up against the likes of Naido Quintana, whether it's gear selection, pacing yourself, eating, drinking, just being on the, the likes of the Tourmalet. It's a big experience, and he's certainly performed very, very well today. How can he perform, and the rest of them, in the final 1.3 kilometres? Vuclair has certainly used all of his experience brilliantly today. He's still there, still fighting, and with tomorrow's stage, another good one for him and his team. You never know what might happen. No, you certainly don't. And uh, Marc Soler started this morning 10th on the general classification of 44 seconds, so he's certainly moving himself very much up towards the uh, the, the very pointy end of it. Well, Movistar are going to have two good options, whatever happens tomorrow with Quintana and Soler. At the minute, he hasn't put enough of damage into those behind to be up there to take the jersey. Quintana looks, waits, and he's going to allow and just try and slow things down for Soler to do his best to take the advantage. Marc Soler. Big year for him this year. He's been given quite a bit more responsibility. Een hele mooie overwinning voor deze man natuurlijk ook zijn. Direct als de kippen bij in de kopgroep. Daar heeft beschermend werk voor zijn ploeg gedaan. En uh, daarna tempo heel lang aangevoerd voor Quintana. Here is Hugh Carthy then. What a performance from the British rider from the northwest of England. He waited and tried, waited and tried. This time he's able to carry it through and he's heading into the Flam Rouge, but he has Naido Quintana right on his wheel. Yeah, he certainly does. He's uh, managing to put a little bit of time into uh, to a day though, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Well, Hugh Coffey was up there at the Vuelta Asturias, win on a very famous big mountain. And of course, that performance that really did launch his career, that was the breakthrough win for him after that superb ninth place at the Volta Catalunya earlier this month, earlier this year, pardon me, I should say. Remember, he was up there with Chris Froome and probably the best start list we'll see in the whole of the season for the general classification, even better than the Tour de France. Soler, in the meantime, riding on to try and take the stage win. He's never won a race as a professional. What a day this would be, what a ride it would be. From the breakaway, remember? Yeah, breakaway and then domestique for his, uh, his team leader and then if he was to hold on and take the win. It's not a given that he's going to do that because behind... ...unable to catch his man because Quintana is hanging in there at the minute. But this is a huge step up. This is Hugh Carthy, unknown until 18 months ago, sticking it to Naido Quintana. Well, he's certainly doing a great ride, and he's riding himself into podium position here with uh, with this. He's dropped Tommy Vockley, he's dropped Nikolai there, and uh, he's now got, well, one, chasing one Movistar rider and got another one with him. He started the day in 20th position at 56 seconds. Hugh Carthy is riding himself into a possible podium position at the Hood du Sud. Marc Soler chasing on. Well, this is some special bit of riding. Look at this from Hugh Carthy attacking Quintana again. The Colombian hoping to win the Tour de France, let's not forget. Sticking with him on the wheel at the minute, and there's still work to do for Marvi Star Soler at the moment. 200 meters to go. Another hairpin for Carthy. 250, so a little bit of extra road to play with, part of me for Soler. Oh, and here's Carthy again, still winding up that big gear. He struggled with himself up this mountain, but he is giving himself everything, giving it his all. It's looking okay for Soler at the minute. Here is Marcelo, 125 to go. It's been tense, it's been tight. It's been pretty, pretty conservative from everybody on the road today at times, but this is a huge finale, and it is going to be one first huge professional win for Marc Soler in the breakaway this morning, working as a domestic for Naido Quintana and taking the win as Hugh Carthy on another huge step forward battles it out with the experienced Naido Quintana for a podium place on the Queen stage of the Hood du Sud. We have seen some brilliant riding and we wondered at the start of the day if it would be those